um, I think business can try not to penalize people because there is a record. And I know that sometimes takes a leap of faith and trust in who that individual is. But, you know, I believe that anybody can make a mistake, but let's not penalize them for the rest of their lives. If they've gone through the system, they've paid their debt to society, then they need to come out and be able to be wage, wage earners for their family, to be productive, and for us not to imprison them again in a situation where they can't find jobs. So those are things that we have to work on as far as our society is concerned, um, where we're just immediately, you know, categorizing people in that way. And we need to work harder so that they can get out and get, get jobs. And the, you know, private business, I mean, that's where it's all at. Don't be afraid to give someone a job just because there was a blemish on their record. And thank you for sharing that because, you know, to varying degrees, all of us have made mistakes. All of us have done something that we probably had no business doing, um, whether going way back in the day when you weren't, you were, you were supposed to leave dessert alone. And, and I might be telling on myself and uh, tried to do dessert at a different time and you'd get that switch or something reminder being like, this is not the time or place. So we've. Um, I, I, I'm glad that you stress that, especially like you said, if people have already paid their debts to society, if they've already served their time, then give them an opportunity to see what they are capable of doing. And I'm sure a lot of that mindset translates down to, like you said, your office is, is in charge of the juvenile court system, I mean, in charge of the juvenile system. Walk through with our viewers, what are some things that you're putting in place that kind of parallel, you know, what's going on on that on that criminal end in regards to what things can be done proactively to where people aren't always jumping back and forth within the system. As far as juveniles are concerned, I really, really want to start early working with the school system to encourage kids to be about realizing their dreams and their passions and not getting into the system in the first place. Um, that's one of the things I want to look at. And kids that are there, uh, what I'm working on now is um, doing programs where they can be, you know, teamed with mentors and there's programming where they can do more things um, as far as knowing who they are and not um, being into the criminal justice system. Um, we're working on a few things right now where we can have programming for them. And I've also talked to a um, juvenile court judge and what we're also trying to work on is possibly a program for kids that they can do, you know, little jobs uh, as far as tutoring other children that are younger than them and getting a little pay for that so that they have something that they can hold their head up and be confident. And also, um, I have always asked our community to make sure that they speak with children, let them know that they're important for our community because that is our future. And they have to know that this community cares about them, that this community loves them, and we want to see them do well. 